New allegations in the case of a Fairfield teenager who some say was the target of bullying. A lawsuit laying out claims of trespassing and intentional infliction of emotional distress suffered by her family after her suicide. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has been reviewing documents in the case and is here now with this new information. Tom? Well, Carol, this 100 page document was filed by the family of Emily Olson and its suit against the Fairfield City Schools administrators and students. The newest allegation is a charge of trespassing and intimidation just days after the teenager took her own life in 2014. The I team has documented Emily Olson's story for more than a year. An A student who claims she was bullied to the point where she wrote on Facebook, I want to die. On December 11th, 2014, she took her own life. My daughter shot herself. Five days later, court documents claim Fairfield Middle School principal Lincoln Butt showed up at the Olson home with two police officers and attempted to intimidate Mark Olson into shutting up and ceasing all interviews with local media. The complaint says they told Olson he was stirring the pot, entertaining rumors, and causing an issue for the school and the community. Another new disclosure from the court filing was the fact that Emily was given a true color personality quiz in November 2014. In it, she described her bad day symptoms as crying, depressing, yelling and screaming, passive resistance and going into a trance. The family's attorney says her parents were never told about it. Then there's the accusation from a month earlier of a student reporting a teacher for berating Emily about poor schoolwork and lack of friends. The document says Mark Olson confronted the teacher who reportedly offered no response. In the filing, the Olsons claim Emily was bullied, harassed, and suffered sexual and racial discrimination, but the school district failed to stop it. They're asking for damages and district reforms to policies and practices related to bullying. Of course, I've reached out to the Olsons' attorney for further comment in this case. Haven't gotten a response. The same thing for the school district's attorney as well.